Alrighty, First Lady Wong Harmonic in the house. Long time since uh, I've did a videos on a consistent basis, like I'm used to, but that's because I've been leveling up in my trading. And just want to let you guys know I didn't forget about you. It's also just a page in which I share um, my trades, where I'm looking at, and so forth. And I have married gold. Yes, me and gold. That's my boo, right there. And but she's tricky, unless you have a nice strong strategy i wouldn't suggest trading gold because she's very wicky you know sometimes she catches attitudes we have arguments and then you know we humble each ourselves and then we make up and then everything's good again but anyway what is going on with gold right now i have the weekly chart right now um standing in front of my face and i have this pattern here marked out it is an extension pattern because we broke a x so um, let me just see what this pattern is. I don't have it marked up. X to A. All right. So we're looking at a deep crab. Why am I at D? It should be. Boom, 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 boom. This is a 786. Okay. It's a butterfly. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so this is a bullish butterfly. And the reason why I know that is because my B point is a 786. Again, for those of you learning harmonics or confused about it, trust me when I tell you, you'll, you'll begin to know it by heart. You won't be able to unsee it. You'll be able to even uh, know the fib levels without even using your fibs. But in this particular case here, price barely missed the 786. It's a higher time frame, so therefore mm -hmm. uh, things aren't as exact. Um, as they are in a lower time frame, so it's close enough for me to call this a 780 uh, a butterfly because price is um, way below um, the 61.8. So X to A, B is my 786. Um, our seed can be anywhere from a 382 to an 886. As you can see, it has reached the 886 point. It's a little higher than the 886, but what we're, what we're really focusing on is that it does not break A. If it breaks A, then this pattern would be invalid, and we're looking at a different pattern. Okay? So from a 786 B point, we're looking at a, a 1272, which is actually down here. And we always want to make sure that we have an extra level of confluence. Let me just take off this pit, this right here. Let me move this, some other things I have going on. So we want to have a second fib, fib level of confluence. Confluence is the key in trading and, and Forex. And the reason why I say that is because you want to have multiple levels of confluence before you actually enter a trade. And this is what's going to give you your confidence. And once you have confidence in what I like to call it supreme confidence, you'll be taking trades and be able to walk away and just wait for your take profit to hit. Okay, so this is a little bit more accurate. As we can see here, it's, it's um, a, within 3% is what we can get um, when we get close to a fib if it doesn't touch. And so this is good enough for me. Okay, um, so we need a second level of confluence again. Um, you're gonna use your Fibonacci extension. You can go from A down into B, back into A. And we're looking for a 1618. <laughs> And we have that here. Oof, look at that. So what I'm noticing here is that uh, we have this nice major quarter point of 1,000, which price is going to uh, definitely come down to hit. Um, we have our decompletion point um, at the 1,272 and the Fibonacci confluence of the 1,618, which tells me that this is a high level area of support. We have two Fibonaccis pretty much touching each other not too far from a, um, a quarter point, a major quarter point at that. So the question is, um, how do we get into this trade? Well, let me just draw this out for you right here. We have X, A, we have B, we're going to use our highest mark here. We're going to have C, and then we're going to have our D point right here. Okay? So, you know, charts like this is a daily time frame. It's going to take some time for it to actually play out. And so this is why you market charts up. This is what's giving you a directional bias. 
once this B point is broken out, that's everyone I keep telling myself, then you have more of a confirmation that this pattern is um, valid. We have not broken our B point as of yet. So therefore, um, we're still in the game, so to speak. This is, but we're just very alert, alert as to uh, what's going on. Okay, so let's take it down to a daily level. Let's see, we have top-down analysis. Okay, so we seem right now to start making higher lows and higher highs. Our level of uh, a midpoint, our neck point has been broken. This high has been broken here, and there's a strong move up in this direction here. Whenever I see a strong impulse candle, I tend to think the price is going to come down. It's going to be some type of um, pullback, retracement, um, unless it's very, very strong, which is for other reasons I can't have to share at the moment. Um, I'm looking at this to see what it's going to do. I'm thinking that it's going to pull back a little bit and then rise. Um, this area here is where I would be looking to sell. Um, I had my trend line already placed here. Trend lines are very important, and they also are very strong areas of confluence. So if I wanted to just, just, just fib it out and see what's going on here. I'll take my high to my low. Right around this area, 618 area is a nice uh, continuation trade, a reversal a level, 618, um, as well as 382, which is what we're approaching right now. So we're going to see what's going to happen when we get to that point here. But around 618, maybe in the middle, I'll wait to some kind of trend line touch here. If we get a trend line touch, we may, it may come up and then come down. Um, take this as a sell. I could go in and take this for a buy all the way up, which is what I'm, I'm looking to do, and then take the sell down. Um, although right now, we te technically, we still are in, uh, well, yes, we're still in a sell trend. Um, this level of resistance here, this previous high, has not been broken. Let me see if I can just bring this up just a little bit closer. <laughs> Sure thing. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> All right, this previous high right here has not been broken, as you can see. Um, we have wicks, 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 wicks. Nice wicks, nice wicks. And we have this level here, um, even though we have a strong candle. So I'm looking for some type of retracement back. We have a, level, a lot of rejection. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So like, tons of rejection. Plus, we have this nice little stop punk in this area, breakdown, come back up to retrace. Um, I would assume that as the day, it's 2.30 p.m. right now, Eastern time, if this closes below this high here, I would just look to take a sell, probably take a sell down um, to my red level of support. Let's see, how many pips would that be? Hmm, almost 200 pips, not bad. Okay. So that would be my um, assumption. Now, as far as harmonics are concerned, um, I would use this wick here. This is one impulse leg, and now this whole thing, although you have uh, smaller impulses, this is one complete leg. Um, I would take my fib from here to here, and we have what? Another 786B retracement. So what does that tell me? It tells me that we're looking for a, a bullish butterfly. So price may come down to the 382 and give us a continuation trade at this level and then come up to the 1272 area right here. Let's just make a little line here. Again, we always want to have a second level of confluence. A Fibonacci level, you need two of those. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to do an ABA. So A, B, back down into A. And look at that level 1618 into 1272. I'm not making this stuff up. It's hitting. We're most likely probably going to get some type of wick to the um, trend line. I would not hesitate to put a sell limit at this, this area here. And, and then maybe. Um, Put your stop loss at the 1414, maybe a little bit above, sometimes um, in the middle of the 1414, or keep you out of reach. You want to make sure you use proper risk management. 
because this is a daily time frame if you are going to be trading off of the daily time frame um, so this pattern here looks like this X a B let's let's see if price comes down here we'll see what it does we have to we have to wait and see okay so remember the C point can be anywhere from a 382 to an 886 so price could actually come and um, come down in this area here the key let's get all this out of the way here the key for me what I'm looking at if price breaks below my red level of support then I will be looking for um, a under 50% like maybe a 61.8 between a 61.8 and a 78.6, um, retracement. And then I'll just ride that way up to D point right there. Um, this is trade is actually making me quite exciting because gold, oh my gosh, gold gives so much pips in a short amount of time. Unbelievable. So that's what I'm interested in. So that's my take on gold right now for, from a daily perspective. Let's go down to the four hour and see where we are. You see, as we see, price is already starting to show some type of rejection. And what I would wait to see here is um, some type of signal that the sellers have taken over control. Go down to another level here. Um, you see this nice long wick, nice uh, level of rejection there showing that uh, the buying pressure has slowed down, does not mean that it has stopped. Um, we see from here, my friend just keep texting me. We, um, we see from here, sellers seem to be entering into the market, but they're not showing any significant signals that they are controlling the market at the moment. So this is when patience comes in, you have to wait for the market to show you their hand. And once they show you their hand, that is the only time you make the move. And that is how you use your emotions, you use risk management, you use your own strategies in line. All those levels of confluence within yourself, as well as on the charts, is what's going to make you a successful trader. Okay, dokie, I'm going to end that right here. And if you have any questions, feel free to DM me. Go to my website, liquidentourage.com. If anyone's ever wondering where did I get that name, because liquidity could be in many things, but liquidity in money, that's what we're going for here by means of pips. And I'm looking for entourage to get the pips with me. All right, I'll talk to you later.